Hello, we're finally back here in Anaheim uh, on the eve of the NAMM Show 2022. And I'm joined today by President and CEO Joe Lamont. He's going to tell us a little bit more about this year's exhibition. So, I mean, everything has been thrown into disarray in the last couple of years, and NAMM has not been an exception to that. So how has your vision really evolved? I think our vision of a world right now is traditional. We have not left our vision of a more musical world. Music education is a right for all children. The idea that music is a force for good in the world. The idea that we as an industry are providing a vital part of what it means to be human. That's the traditional part. But on the other hand, everything has changed in business, right? How we learn music, how it's taught, how we play music and record it and, and perform it live, and how theaters and concerts and festivals are coming back. That's all in a transformation moment right now, I think. You know, we learned a lot about, you know, what it's like to be isolated. And I think we learned we don't like it. In terms of the program, for, for any of those people who've come to NAMM year after year, except for last year, yeah. going back, um, what, what should they look forward to this year? You know, the gatherings are all there. Um, we have a Top 100 Dealer Awards, we have the Parnelli Awards for the Touring Professionals, we have the Tech Awards, the Mixers, the gatherings, we have ESTA, we have training about um, event safety and bringing people back together again with the Event Safety Alliance. Um, a lot of software training, uh, there's a lot of advanced audio education. Where are uh, we going as an industry as it relates to virtual audio and, you know, in the metaverse, what will audio look like and how will we perform? And the new products. I've been on the floor watching these exhibitors set up. It's a smaller floor, I'll give you that. But the companies that are here have great new products and they're gonna be very proud of what they've accomplished, probably under one of the most difficult conditions ever, creating new product during a pandemic. And then on top of that is the virtual show. This will be the first digital hybrid event for NAMM. So we've got registration for 111 countries right now and that means many of them will be attending virtually. And so many of the stages, many of the education sessions, a lot of the uh, floor is gonna be streamed live on NAMM Show Plus. Right, I keep on seeing people with colored stickers walking around on their badge. What's that all about, Jay? The color-coded thing is actually pretty cool. Three colored dots. A green dot is when you get your badge, you put a dot on. It means I'm ready to hug and shake, I'm, I'm over it, I'm ready. Green dot, go. Yellow dot says to the person you're walking up to, you don't have to say anything, yellow dot says fist bump, you know, elbow bump. That's, I'm good, but not there quite yet. And red means, man, I am not even ready to have you close to me. <laughs> so without having that awkward encounter, you can look at the badge and you either have a green dot, yellow dot, or red dot, and maybe by Saturday or Sunday, those dots will come off. Is there anything else that you've deployed or you, you've, you've put your efforts into in order to try and help people not only stay safe, yeah. but feel safe? Well, you know what's interesting? The idea to me was when I've traveled, and, and you've traveled now too, the fear is an anxiety. Like we're, we're road dogs, right? But even as a road dog, I was, what if I get sick when I'm far from home? That's such a strange thought, you know? Um, I, would I be alone, especially if I was traveling internationally? So in Safe and Sound, part of it, what we developed with the help of so many of our team here was health at nam.org. It's just an email. When people are here, if they need any support while they're here, like say you wake up one day and you're just not feeling well while you're at the show and you can, there's drugstores all around, you can call in a prescription for some medicine, but you're not feeling well enough to go pick it up. Health at nam.org comes to our team. We would go pick it up and we'd get it for you. Next year, we're heading to April. Yeah. So what's, what was the rationale behind that? And are we eventually looking to meander our way back to January? We cannot wait to get back to January. The decision to be here in June was made last August when Delta was beginning to be talked about and before Omicron ever even became a variant. We knew we needed to get back to January, but we didn't think we could do it just six months after this. So we moved to April. Again, another experimental time for us, but it's nine months later. And then nine months from April, we will be back to January, finally, in January of 24. Another pro tip is for June, this show, it'll never be in June again. Go down to the shop and buy the t-shirt because it will be a collector's item. April next year, it'll never be in April again. So, you know, I'm so grateful that so many of our members are sticking with us as we move through these big decisions about what will the econ economics look like, what will the pandemic look like, health and safety. These were guesses made a year in advance. 
because it takes that long to get a, a haul the size and have it the time we need. If they, you're planning a year ahead when no one knew what was happening with the pandemic. Those are crystal ball moments and we don't have a crystal ball.